Hello friends and fellow bibliophiles, welcome back to Cat's Novel Adventures. In today's video, I want to share with you all of the reading adventures I have planned for the month of July. <laughs> All I know is that in July, I am going to be extremely busy in my reading life because I am participating in a couple of reading events. I have my own reading project that I'm doing, Year of Christie, as well as the book clubs I'm involved in. I have at least 15 books on my TBR. That's a lot, and two of them happen to be really chunky books. So the first thing I want to do is choose my book from my Year of Christie jar. Many of you remember my Year of Christie jar. And the first... Okay. Uh, 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 uh. My hand's getting stuck. It's a red one. And of course I'll put it on these post-its. I will be reading the, Mur the Murder of Roger Ackroyd, and this was recommended by Retro Betty. So this is the book, The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie, that was recommended to me by Liz, who is also Retro Betty. And it is basically about Hercule Poirot retiring to this little town and he's settling into his home, but then life gets all disrupted because the wealthy Roger Ackroyd gets murdered and he is now on the case. From what I understand, this book is what really got Agatha Christie's name out there that put her on the path of becoming a popular mystery writer. Next, I want to share the books that I will be reading for my book clubs. And the first one is The House at the Bottom of the Lake by Josh Mallerman. This is for my Chills, Thrills, and Kills book club that I run with my friend Kelsey. This will be my first Josh Mallerman book, and I'm excited. It is about a young couple, I believe they're teenagers, and they're going on their first date, and they're taking a canoe on the lake and they discover a house at the bottom of the lake and they decide to explore. So I'm super excited about it. I haven't gotten my copy yet, but I will be ordering it soon. For the Cozy Cottage Book Club, I will be reading Pollyanna by Eleanor H. Porter. This is the first time I'm reading Pollyanna and it is about a freckled faced girl who is bright and cheerful, who always finds a way to be glad. Suddenly orphaned, the young girl moves to a new town to live with her hard-hearted Aunt Polly, but she is still full of joy. So I'm looking forward to reading this. This will be a fun little summer read for us in July. And generally, we read the book and discuss it, and then we will watch the movie adaptation together on the Discord. The July selection for the middle grade March book club is Three Strikes Summer by Skylar Shrimp. It is about a young girl named Gloria May Willard who has to go with her family to California to work at a peach orchard, but she also wants to become a member of a secret all boys baseball team. So. Gloria is going to have to figure out a way that she can balance working at this peach orchard and also try to get on this baseball team. But I think it's going to be a lot of fun and it is going to be a perfect summer read. Now let's talk about the three reading events that I am participating in during the month of July. I'm going to go ahead and talk about them and what I'll be reading in the order that they're going to occur. So the first one is Summerween that is being hosted by Gabby at Gabby Reads. It will take place from July the 7th through the 13th. I am super excited about this readathon because it's the very first time that I am participating. I even ordered a t-shirt, which I haven't received yet, but fingers crossed that it's going to be in by the time the readathon actually starts. Gabby has five prompts and I have chosen five stories to read during that time, which I want to share with you. Now keep in mind, these are 
just possibilities because it is only about a week and I'm not sure if I'll be able to get to all of them, but that's okay. I'm gonna try my best. Prompt number one is to read a book in the dark or at night and I have chosen Stephen King's The Sun Dog. This book is about a young boy named Kevin who really, really, really wants this Polaroid Sun 660 camera, except something is really off on it because when he takes pictures, when the Polaroid picture processes, it ends up having this very vicious dog in it and the dog seems to be getting closer and closer. Now this book also includes a character from another Stephen King book that I've read called Needful Things and that is Pop Merrill. I love how Stephen King will interconnect his universe and you'll have characters that appear in different stories. I don't know, I like all of that. I think that's pretty clever. But as you can see, the cover has the pictures, the Polaroid pictures of the vicious dog. So this one should be a pretty creepy one to be able to read at nighttime. Prompt number two is to read a thriller, and I have chosen The Silent Patient by Alex Michael Leeds, and it is about a woman named Alicia, who is a famous painter, and she's married to an in-demand photographer, and they live in a really nice home, and everything seems to be fine. One night, her husband comes home late from work, and she decides to shoot him in his face five times. And then she doesn't speak again afterwards. So I think it's gonna be pretty intriguing. It is a psychological thriller. I'm excited to get to it because I've had this book for a little bit. It's been on my shelf for a couple of years and it was given to me by my friend Debbie who said it's very good. Prompt number three is to read a book that is set in the fall and I've chosen to read another story from The Woman in Black and Other Ghost Stories by Susan Hill. It is Printer's Devil Court and it is about four medical students who decide one night to participate in an experiment. And the experiment pretty much crosses the line when it comes to medical ethics. Now, it is considered a ghost story, so whatever happens with that experiment, I have a feeling a little bit of supernatural is gonna take place. Prompt number four is to read a book with orange or black on the cover, and I have chosen the Spider in the Fly. This is based on the 1929 poem by Mary Howard and illustrated by the fantastic Tony DiTalisi. It is really beautifully illustrated. It actually won the Caldecott Honor Award. I look forward to revisiting this. It really does have some Halloween type vibes or Gothic vibes. So I think it would be perfect for Summerween. And finally, prompt number five is to read a manga, a graphic novel, or a novella. And I wanted to be a little adventurous with this prompt, so I chose to read a manga. I asked my son Andrew which one he thought I would enjoy reading because he reads all kinds of mangas, and he suggested I try out Demon Slayer. This is by Koyo Hora Gatogi. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But it is about a kind-hearted man named Tenjiro who sells charcoal. And one night, his whole family is slaughtered by a demon, except his sister survives. However, she is turned into a demon. And so he must go on a journey to save his sister, get the demon out of her, and to also kill this demon who has ruined his life. So I'm excited about reading my first manga. The next reading event that I will be participating in is actually a 24-hour reading retreat. It is called BookTube Besties Virtual Retreat Summer 2023. It is being hosted by Krista at Books and Jams plus BookTube Besties. It will take place from Friday, July 21st at 8 p.m. Eastern Time to Saturday, July 22nd at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. 
and I am super excited because it's my first virtual reading retreat and I don't know what to expect, but I do love Krista's channel. So I just thought this would be a fun event to participate in. They have a group read called The Getaway Girls by Dee McDonald. And it says, this is right up my alley, it's never too late for an adventure. It's a hilarious feel good summer read. And I just love that cover. Look how cute that is. But it's about three women who are at a point in their life where they can travel and do some things that they want to do. They get into like a luxury camper van and they're traveling along the beaches of France and into Italy. Each of them has something going on with themselves as far as like one lady wants to have a last holiday romance, another one has an inheritance waiting for them, and then another one has a secret that's about to catch up with them. So I just think this is gonna be fun to read. We have to read it before the actual virtual retreat. And then uh, part of the retreat, there'll be a time for us to be able to discuss it. But I think it's gonna be great for the summer and it's an adventure. You know how I like my adventures. The last reading event that I will be participating in July is Christmas Evil in July. This is being hosted by Kelly at Kelly Hooked on Books plus 10 other fantastic booktubers. Let me just tell you who they are, and I would recommend subscribing because they are fantastic. They are Kelsey at Slime and Slashers, Michelle at Michelle's Melancholia, Crystal at Fiber Artsy Reads, Katrina at Katrina Brown, Lauren at Happy Haunts Library, Andrew at It Came From The Page, Kaylee at Kaylee's Books, Lexi at Books with Lexi, Alex at The Bookubus, and Amy at Amy Noel Reads. Now this readathon is actually two weeks. It's an abbreviated readathon um, similar to the readathon, the big one that they had in December, which was very successful. But this one will be taking place from July 16th through the 31st. There are nine prompts, but only three of them are reading prompts. So they have some watching prompts, they have some photo prompts, and then the three reading prompts. So the first prompt is to read a book that takes place during or is set during the summer. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my three strike summer book that I'm reading for my middle grade March book club because I think that would be a perfect read for it. Prompt number two is a mood read and I have not chosen what I'm gonna read from that because really I have so many books in the month of July that I've picked out that I can easily use one of those for this prompt. And then the third one is to read a book featuring any holiday, Christmas, 4th of July, Halloween, etc. And the book that I am using for that prompt is Boy's Life by Robert McCammon. And this is one of my chunkers. So that is what I'm planning for Christmas Evil in July. I think it's gonna be a fun time. We had a great time during Christmas Evil in December. So I think this will be a lot of fun to have a little Christmassy things going on in the middle of summer. I'm also participating in two summer readathons that are gonna take place over the course of the entire summer. And the first one is Big Book Summer. I did a separate video on what books that I plan to read for that event. This is hosted by Sue at Sue Jackson and it takes place from May 25th through September 4th. And the two books that I have designated for this readathon that I want to read in July are Fairy Tale by Stephen King. That's the first chunker. And then the second one is Boy's Life by Robert McCammon. So I'm able to read this one for the Christmas Evil, but also for Big Book Summer. 
The other summer readathon that I am participating in is called Summer Book Bingo. This is hosted by Tiffany at Beautiful Minutia, and it is running from June 1st through August 31st. And I've had a lot of fun with this because there are multiple prompts and I am able to use the books that I'm already reading each month to participate. So that that's awesome. It's not like I have to read a ton of extra books to be able to participate. And guess what? It's not too late to join if you would like to join. Let me just go over a little bit about the details for this readathon. Of course, it goes from June 1st through August 31st, but she will accept final submissions through September 1st. For each bingo you get on the board, you tag Tiffany on Instagram or on her Discord. Each bingo is one entry, which means that there are 12 possible entries total. Each space must be an individual book read sometime between June and August. There's no doubling up, please, and the free space doesn't need to have a book. There is a prize for this. Now, of course, you can participate with the book bingo and not necessarily have to do these things if you just want to fulfill these prompts if you need some ideas for books. But there is a prize, and it is a $25 gift card to an online bookseller of your choice. And the giveaway is also open to international readers. The only stipulation is she needs to be able to purchase a digital gift card for the winner with a U.S. debit or credit card in order to receive the reader to receive their prize. The only other qualification is she does request that people subscribe to her channel, which I think is fair because when people are giving things away, I think that is only fair for you to subscribe to their channel and be a part of their community. And she really does have a wonderful channel. I really enjoyed uh, watching several of her videos. Let me talk about the books that I've chosen for Summer Book Bingo that I would like to be able to read during the month of July. Now, some of these I'm able to read not only for Summer Book Bingo, but also for the other July readathons. I am trying to complete eight prompts. So here are the books that I've chosen and what prompts they're gonna fulfill. So for Standalone Fantasy, I'm gonna use Fairy Tale by Stephen King. Of course, this book is getting lots of mileage because I'm also using it for Big Book Summer. I have chosen for friend recommendation, Boy's Life by Robert McCammon. This one's getting a lot of mileage too because I'm using it for Big Book, Summer, also for Christmas Evil for the holiday book. And this book was recommended to me by my friend Kelsey at Slime and Slashers. For the prompt of Buzzy Book, I've chosen Don't Fear the Reaper by Stephen Graham Jones. This is the sequel to My Heart is a Chainsaw, which I read in June, and I can't wait to find out what's gonna happen to Jay Daniels because My Heart is a Chainsaw left off where we're not really sure what has happened to Jade or what's going to happen to Jade as well as some of the other characters. So I'm super excited about this one. For Coming of Age, I've chosen Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret by Judy Bloom. I've read this book, but like when I was a youngster. So I'm excited about revisiting this one. For Translated Work, I am reading Around the World in 80 Days by Jules Verne. I really was supposed to read this for the Around the World in 80 Days readathon that went from January to March and one of the hosts was Miriam and I was very sad that I didn't get to it. This was actually the group read. So I think the summertime traveling, he's gonna be traveling to all these different places and they're exotic so it should be fun. For a book that inspired a movie, I have chosen The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. This is by Anne Brashars. I have not seen the movie and I have not read the book. I believe it's YA, so why not give it a whirl? Then there's a prompt for a manga. So guess what? I'm going to use Demon Slayer for both the manga for Summer Book Bingo as well as for Summerween. 
And then finally, I'm going to use Stephen King's The Sun Dog. This is for sunset colors on the cover, and it is also the book that I will be reading at night for the Summerween Readathon. Well, friends, that is my July TBR. And I believe at the beginning of this video, I said I had 15 books that I was planning to read. I believe it really is 16. I forgot about the Josh Mallerman book because I don't have a physical copy yet. So I don't think I counted that one when I was originally thinking about the books that I wanted to read in July. It's gonna be an extremely busy month and I'm gonna have lots of adventures and I am looking forward to all of my reading events that I'm doing. Of course, these are a pile of possibilities as my friend Mitzi at Mitzi Reads and Writes says. So I'm not gonna to be too hard on myself if I can't get to everything, but you better believe I'm gonna try. Thanks everyone for watching. I really appreciate you stopping by. Let me know what you're up to for the month of July. Are you participating in any of the readathons that I'm participating in? Have you read any of the books that I am planning to read? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, stay amazing and be adventurous.